So as of this recording, on September 16th, early evening, pre-orders have started opening up on PlayStation 5 in numerous websites. And the pre-orders were supposed to start showing up tomorrow, on Thursday. Which, by the time this actually comes out on the video, will be today. So, let's talk about the PlayStation 5 reveal today, or yesterday, or whenever. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff. Go! So PlayStation had their little showcase that happened on the 16th, which to me is today, earlier today. Uh, I barely got to see some of it. To me, there was two major reveals along with the price and release date reveal, which I'll get to. The two major reveals, one being Final Fantasy 16, which it, Shinra gets bring, brought up. So, the fact that there, it looks like it's medieval times means it's not exactly in the same time period as 15 was. Because we have knights and stuff, yet we still have chocobos. So, hey, Final Fantasy 16. Yay! And with this reveal, it was also shown off that it's going to be a PlayStation console exclusive, but also available on PC. So that means we probably won't be seeing Final Fantasy 16 on the Xbox system, which is, I don't know. I, I don't know how much I trust that. I mean, I could see Microsoft getting this for the Xbox later on, especially if they got a deal with P the PC to release it on there. But I could see them getting it first for a long while. Now, the second thing that came up as far as an actual game was this Hogwarts Legacy. For a long while, we were given uh, leaks of a Harry Potter type game coming out that isn't exactly involving Harry Potter, but was around Hogwarts. Well, now we got this trailer, and it's apparently going to take place 1800s. So this is going to be even before the Fantastic Beasts movies. So you're going to be... A student, I'm guessing, and you're going to add to and explore the history of Hogwarts around that time frame. You become that era's Voldemort. You could be whatever you want to be in this game, as far as I could tell. Now on to the meat of the, the, the PlayStation showcase that happened. The prices. The PlayStation 5 Digital Edition will be $399.99. The PlayStation 5 with the disc tray in it will be $499.99. So, a $100 difference between digital and one where you can put a disc in. As I stated towards the beginning of this video, before the intro and stuff, pre-orders actually started opening up, even though they're supposed to be out on Thursday. And a while back, PlayStation did give out info for you to actually get some pre-orders through them yet nothing's been told by Sony as far as that stuff yet these other websites and stuff like Best Buy and GameStop they're start started pre-orders apparently and now we got more info on the differences between the different systems the Xbox Series S compared to the main PlayStation 5 the Xbox Series S compared to the digital edition Okay, the cheapest one is going to be Xbox Series S, then the digital PS5, and then Series X and PlayStation 5 main are the same price level. Now, a lot of people were expecting the prices to be higher on the PlayStation 5s, and I'm kind of glad they aren't, but to me, and this is just me, for anybody else who's going to be getting or searching after these systems, you got your own opinions on them. I'm still siding with Xbox. I'm going to go 
Xbox this console cycle. Because for one, even though it might seem a bit expensive, I like the idea of what they presented with the Xbox All Access. Now, although getting through there through buying outright is about a $20 difference for the Series X, where with the Series S, it's about a $60 difference. If you went with the All Access route compared to the buying flat out. And the release dates. The release dates. I forgot about this. The release dates. Okay, ready for this? Two days later. PlayStation 5 will release two days later than the Xbox Series consoles. Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S will be coming out November 10th. The PlayStation 5s will be out November 12th. But November 12th in the U.S., Japan, Canada, Mexico, Australia, New Zealand, South Korea. November 19th for the rest of the world. So we do have multiple dates for the PlayStation 5 release for throughout the world. Now, it is good to actually get this info out there. Like I said, this is just me, my opinion on this. I, 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 I like the fact that there is this option to make payments with the Xbox Microsoft systems. And I think it's just, what was it, like 35 a month? If I can find it right here somewhere. I got so many images for this video. So it's about 35 a month for 24 months. Now, I'm talking about the Xbox All Access thing, not just the PlayStation stuff. PlayStation doesn't exactly have anything like this. It has $34.99 per month for 24 months. It includes the console and 24 months of Xbox Gaming Pass Ultimate. The PlayStation Series S version... Is going to be $24.99 per month for 24 months. Includes console and the 24 months of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Now for those who don't know what all comes in the Game Pass. Or what you compare it to. Includes Xbox Live. The online service to play. The Xbox Game Pass which provides access to a catalog of games. A Netflix like service for Microsoft. And they are still adding like new games to it all the time. It also includes the EA Play, which is a catalog of EA games. And then the Project X Cloud, which enable you to play in a cloud way. Well, as you can see by the picture I'm sharing this with. Also with the Xbox All Access, it will be available in 12 countries this holiday. Now, I don't know if it will be all available when they op start opening up, but... If you're outside the United States, it's going to be available in Canada, United Kingdom, Poland, France, Norway, Finland, Denmark, Sweden, South Korea, Australia, New Zealand. And that'll be in the holiday. It doesn't mean it could, they could be opening up across the holiday season. It, it could be at launch. It could be a little bit after launch, but... It'll be available out there. Now, if it's not available for any place that you're wanting to get a hold of this, it doesn't mean that they can't try later on. So, that's a possibility. But I know the pre-orders for the Xbox systems are supposed to start September 22nd. Whether that stays the same or not is the real question. Now, we do have some box reveals for the product itself. We got the main console here in a white box with the square triangle circle X in the background of the box. I think we got the digital one too where it's a black box. Everyone wants a black colored console and you know, I wouldn't mind one. I wouldn't mind a black colored one. Because usually the PlayStation consoles usually have the option of a black console. So yeah, this has just been me um, sharing this news for those who didn't get it or didn't see the PlayStation showcase that happened. Yeah, I guess the question still remains. Which one are you going with? The Wi-Fi router or the fridge? Because for me, I'm going with the, the, the Xbox. Like I said, I'm going with the Xbox route. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be like, oh yeah, just just get a, just build your own PC. Just do that instead of getting, no, no. I don't know. I, I may have some tech knowledge, 
but I don't have enough to build my own PC. Yeah, give your opinions down below on the PlayStation 5 showcase that happened, and uh, your opinions on the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X slash S, and what route you might be going with the next-gen consoles, if you are.